Glacier Peak eruption. High threat volcano is more dangerous than Yellowstone volcano, is what some geologists seem to think. This is by Sebastian Kelly on Express UK. Glacier Peak in the Cascades in Washington State has seen a recent quake swarm, and you can see that in the previous video. The Glacier Peak volcano is in the heart of Washington State and is a bigger risk capable of eruption than Yellowstone supervolcano, according to officials who are warning of this. It's a giant stratovolcano in the U.S. Cascadic Volcanic Arch, and it has a history of violent explosive eruptions. The United States Geological Survey, that is the USGS, noted the volcano runs a very high threat potential more so than Yellowstone, which is a supervolcano. Recently, USGS tweeted in response to a question on Yellowstone, Glacial Peak, Glacier Peak is a high threat volcano that is very capable of eruption. There is an eruption response and coordination plan developed by USGS and state and local agencies, they said. Glacier Peak is the most remote of the five active volcanoes in Washington state and is flanked on all sides by glaciers. The USGS notes that the volcano has produced some of the most terrifying and the largest volcanic eruption since the most recent ice age, which ended nearly 12,000 years ago. Glacier Peak and Mount St. Helens are the only two Washington volcanoes that have had explosions in the past 15,000 years. And in comparison, Iloso Volcano is known to have erupted 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago, with a smaller eruption just 70,000 years ago. But let's not forget, you know, it's active. Yellowstone is active, it's deforming, degassing, and uh, we have regular updates on that. Now, Glacier Peak sits approximately 65 miles northeast of Seattle and 70 miles south of the U.S. border with Canada. It's an ominous volcano lying within the Glacier Peak Wilderness Area and Mount Baker National Forest. The volcano's peak towers over 10,544 feet above the surrounding area. The oldest lava flows from the volcano have been dated to somewhere between 200,000 and 600,000 years old. And the USGS claims since the continental ice sheets receded from the region approximately 15,000 years ago, Glacier Peak has erupted repeatedly at least six episodes. Two of these eruptions were among the largest in the Cascades during this period. Glacier Peak's eruptions are characteristically large and eruptive and are believed to occur every several hundred to a few thousand years. The USGS estimates the odds of Glacier Peak erupting in any given year are roughly one in a thousand. Further eruptions would likely be preceded by strong earthquakes and the emission of volcanic gases, just like we saw with Mount St. Helens. Now, the agency said Glacier Peak may not erupt within our lifetimes, but if it does, its geographic impact would vary depending on the size of the eruption, of course, the wind direction, and the types of hazards produced. They said all streams that drain Glacier Peak ultimately flow into the Sauk and Skagit rivers. Therefore, all lahars and post-eruption sediment would likely affect the growing communities on these rivers as far as the Puget lowland. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.